So for the first part of the uh, editing lab, you need to set up your file structure as we've done in prior exercises. So I downloaded uh, the uh, lab and unzipped it and took the shape files out. If I look in the shape file folder, you'll see there are two shape files, one ROI, which is region of interest, and the other is parcels. And then I created a folder called Songer Farm. And in that folder, I created a file geodatabase, a featured data set that I used the projection on the lab, which was the projected coordinate system um, in the world file called Web Mercator. And then I imported uh, the two shape files, parcel and region of interest, into my feature data set. I created an MXD, and it is not in the geodatabase. And as a matter of fact, if I open up this folder, you can see that there's my folder Songer Farm, there's the geodatabase, and there's my MXD. My PDF of my map will go in, in the same location as the MXD. And then I want to make sure to set relative pathways or store relative pathways. And when you're working on your home computer, you can uh, actually make that a default. And it's somewhere in here. Uh, make relative pathways a default. You can also change how your computer zooms in or out. On the uh, computers at school, these will refresh, and so those defaults won't be kept, but at home you can fix that. So now I have existing data, and I can see that all of my data is being pulled from my geodatabase. Um, I can't see the region of interest unless I turn off parcels. Um, so if I ch go over to drawing order, I can move that up. And if I right-click and zoom to layer, I can zoom in to just that area of the map. So that's that first part, uh, setting up your files. The second part of the lab, then, is to create shape files that you're going to use to digitize the area. And these are creating new uh, uh, vector data from the ground up. So you're going to start by... Um, opening up your feature data set and choose new and then you have to uh, decide what type of uh, feature class you want to make and so you're going to make uh, polygons of land cover so we're going to call it land cover you can type it in alias as you want the default is a polygon and we're going to um, keep the defaults here. And at this point, you can set up field names for um, areas that you know you're going to collect data about. You can also do this later, but if you know what you're going to do, it's easy to set these up early. And so uh, the data that we're going to want is the cover. So what kind of land cover, whoops, what kind of land cover it is. And we're going to set the data type, so we're going to use text for that. Uh, the next uh, would be the area. We want to be able to collect the area in acres, and so we're going to use float. Uh, so we can use decibels there. And maybe we want to know the owner, um, and that will also be text. So we've created um, an empty shape file, and we've created three uh, empty fields that we can use to collect data, and then we're going to choose Finish. And that uh, gets added to my table of contents. It shows up uh, in my uh, feature data set. If I open up the attribute table, I haven't created any data yet, and so um, my attributes are empty, but I can see my field names. If I look at the properties, it tells me that that's float. Um, tells me that that is 
uh, text or string, which, whatever. Okay, so we've got um, my uh, data looking correctly. Um, so we're going to make another feature class. And we're going to create another new one. This time we're going to choose a polyline or line. Oh, they've changed it again. It used to be called polyline. We're going to call this roads. And we want to be able to put the name of the road as a label. So we'll make it text. How nicely it knew that. Um, and some roads are private. Uh, some are um, public roads. And we're going to give it a, sh a short integer because we're going to use a, a text field or a code for that. And we're going to finish that. And so now I should have uh, the two original uh, feature classes plus the two empty feature classes that I created. Again, that's empty. So now I'm ready to do some editing. 